What's going on everyone? It's your boy Kieran the Barber here. Today we're doing a crop, which is awesome because I have yet to do a crop. So this will be my first crop video going up. Funnily enough, in the next few weeks I have another one coming out. It's like buses don't turn for ages and then two come at once. So look out for that one as well. Remember, as always, please sub. Just there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little subscribe thing right here. Just like, subscribe to me, please, come on. Like, um, guys, honestly, like, thank you for all your blessed support, man. It's been a long time that we've all been together now. And you keep watching my videos. You keep putting up with me. And I've got a lot of love for that. And I respect that. If I had a like button for you guys, I would like all of you guys. So thank you very much for that. Enjoy my video. Smash my like button. Enjoy it. Learn something. going on everyone is Kieran the Barber here with another hair tutorial video today what we're going to be doing is is we're going to be doing a crop which everybody's been banging on about for the last um, year or so with me is can you please do a hair crop video can you please do a crop video um, it's been asked for, for ages so here you are here you have it and not only is it a crop video it is a really really good crop video um, I'm going to show you step by step what tools I used and how I did it and I really hope you enjoy my video so yeah enjoy so just brushing the hair down I start off with my Slimline Pro Li's I'll put all the tools that I use available in the description below make sure you check out these they are not only the best trim on the market but they're also cordless um, and they just because they've got a wide tooth blade on them it's a lot easier for you to take out the hair because with most um, trimmers you'll find that if you go like I'm doing now like I'm just taking off the hair it's so easy and they don't get clogged up they don't start scratching or leaving the client with red marks they're a really really good all-round trimmer So just below this I'm going to be using my Andis um, full shavers. Now I use a rotary motion with them just so I can, because hair grows at all different angles. So you'll see that I go up and down and I rotate left and right just so I've cleared all the hair away from it. I'm only doing this very very low. Um, I leave about an inch gap for me to sort of blend that slimline line in to the full shaver itself. Gives me enough room to sort of play with. It's just is probably the tool I use the most. I use that day in day out and get so many skin fades come through the door that um, and I've had it probably about a year now and I'm still using the same head and the same foil that I used a year ago. And as long as you look after them and you clean them out after every year haircut, you're winning. So now I'm going to be using my Andis US Pro Allies with a zero magnetic guard on them. Now the best thing about the zero magnetic guard is that it has a magnet attached to it. <laughs> um, so there's no falling off or slip on or anything like that. I'm just taking that up about a centimetre because the rest of this hair I want to cut into either with scissors 
or I just want to go with clipper over comb. I don't want to take that up any higher, I want to leave it quite weighty around the sides. So as you can see, I'm just flicking that zero just into the hair using my C motion and slowly but surely just clearing the rest of that hair away just making sure it's all the hairs off so it's a nice clear fade so with the sides don't ever think that you can just use clippers. I am very 50-50 with the size. Sometimes I use scissors, sometimes I use clippers. So my teeth on my comb are very, very close together. That makes it a lot easier for it to pick up the hair, especially with a short, short, fine hair. I'm using my seven inch shark fin shears at the moment. I love my shark fin shears. Um, at the moment, they are probably the, my favorite scissor. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just, just sort of softening them darker patches in the hair. Making sure all the hair is um, obviously one level and faded in. Because you don't want the client obviously walking out with non-faded hair. So the best thing for this is to just keep chipping away at it slowly but surely. Even if you have to grab your thin scissors just to soften places, that's absolutely fine. As long as a client walks out with a really, really good haircut, they're really happy um, and everyone's a winner, you know, and they come back to you, they recommend all their friends. It doesn't matter how you get from A to B to C to D to E, as long as you get there. So here I am with my finish ears. As you can see, there's not a lot. There's just a slight, slight dark areas that I need to just sort of adjust and just soften slightly. So I'll run my finish just through them, comb the hair back down. And as you can see already, them patches are getting a lot lighter. Just make your job easier. I'm trying to give you all tips and tips, tips and tricks at all angles here to help everyone out. On this part of the haircut, we're going to try and get the, the line out now, which I personally, it doesn't bother me if there's a line in there to get out or not. Some barbers detest having a line in there. Me, I flick from a zero between a half guard using my lever and I use circular motions just to slowly, slowly rub out that line. I'll use the corner of the, um, of the clipper and I'll flick on a half and I'll just come up and I constantly do that all the way through slowly blending that line in
using my slimline pro allies what I do is I use the curvature motion and I use literally just that corner and then I'll rub the clipper very very softly just in and around the edge just using that circular motion very very softly just look at that corner look how sharp it makes it unbelievable Very, very softly as well, just lining that edge out. Because I want the crop to sit nicely. When I want the crop to sit nicely, I want them edges to look extra, extra sharp. And then repeat on the next side. Now with my shears I'm going to take off about an inch but I'm going to completely miss out the fringe because the fringe I will bring in last because that is the main feature point of the crop. I don't want to take obviously too much off of that. I don't want to have to sort of cut that. So I'll blend that all into the back glass when I've got my, um, when, I've, I've, when I've blow dried it and stuff like that I'll, I'll then layer that. But the main thing is getting this back nice and short choppy messy texturized so when i do mess it up it looks awesome there's texture absolutely everywhere With my Bluebeard Chevette, I just finished that off by using a little bit of elegance gel, rubbing the elegance gel in, and then just slowly coming in towards the line, making sure you don't go into that angle, and just trimming all around them edges, just making sure they're nice and sharp. So 
So now onto one of my favorite parts of the haircut. You can do a really, really good haircut, but if you cannot style it, then you're only 50% 50, 50 as good as you think you are. So with this, I use Trigger Happy Texturizing Spray by Johnny's Chop Shop. The link will be in the description below where you can purchase some from or look to stock in your shop. I missed five or six times just into the hair. And then what I do is I make sure I massage that in so it gets right down to the roots. So when you dry that in, it's not just sitting on the surface of the hair, it's actually completely in there. So with my fuzz brush, the drying is very, very simple. Just dry down and flat. Make sure you've got a nozzle on, if you, especially if you're doing a crop, because you have to push down and you have to go nice and flat with it. As you can see, I'm not raising the hair. I'm just drying that forward. And then with my Super ZRs, on the 5-0 it's time to now make this fringe the feature point by straightening it all up don't be scared to ever use your clippers um, as a tool to get a one grade in a sense of to club cut that don't don't be scared to use your clippers as you can see I'm just very very gently just pressing against the hair making it nice and straight So Wildcat Hair Clay, now this clay is awesome, um, you can pick it up in boots or you can go to Joyce Chop Shop, all the details will be down below. Now you only need a 5 pence piece bit and you rub it into your hands, massage it into your hands and then literally just scrunch it through the hair, it's as simple as that. So you get your fingers and then you run it through the fringe can you see from how where I've cut it earlier how much textures running through the top now just poke bits out just fiddle And then some Johnny's Fix Power Hold Hairspray. Just to finish everything off, just to keep everything in place. You know, because you don't want your hair coming out of place, do you? Let's be honest. And this stuff really is power hold. It sticks. It's awesome stuff. Now I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the rest of the video. I really hope you enjoy my video. Peace out.